In this installment of Real Stories of Real Estate Transactions, I want to tell you about what we call poisoning the transaction. This is when a buyer poisoned a transaction. I had a listing and the house was in very good shape. It was 22 years old and many things had been updated. The, the HVAC, the roof, lots of stuff. And the sellers had provided documentation for everything. They were very organized and had kept all the receipts. So the buyers did an inspection and then handed us this 76 page inspection report, which had things on it like a uh, hinge screw was loose or you know little tiny things. They handed us this report and they said, we want you to fix everything. And the seller, when I reported this, looked at me like I was crazy. And I said, don't look at me like I'm crazy. It's not me, it's the buyer. And I called the agent who unfortunately was very combative and not helpful in trying to get the transaction to closing. Um, my theory is that when you buy a used house, it's like buying a used car. It is unrealistic for a buyer to expect a seller to render the property as though it's brand new. The idea of the inspection is to find safety problems or material defects. A material defect means something is not working properly. It doesn't mean that the system isn't brand new. It doesn't mean that the windows weren't replaced last year or that the the water heater is more than four months old. If the those systems are operating and performing as they are supposed to be, the fact that they are not brand new doesn't matter. And the seller's perspective and the agent's lack of desire to educate, I'm sorry, the buyer's perspective, and the buyer's agent's lack of interest in educating her buyer led to what became a very ugly transaction. It did go to closing, but the sellers had originally planned to take whoever their buyer was through the house, show them some of the idiosyncrasies of whether it was a thermostat or a hose bib or something. After this happened, they wanted absolutely nothing to do with the buyers and the sellers decided to sign a deed package and not even come to closing because as my seller said to me, I don't ever wanna to have to look at these people. So it, it became very ugly and it was unfortunate. And in my mind, it was really due to greed on the buyer's part, but equally responsible was the buyer's agent because she knew better. She's had listings. She understands that what they were asking for was ridiculous. And of course, I don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Maybe she did tell them they were being ridiculous and they insisted, I don't know. But at least with me, she was not collaborative or cooperative and I personally will try to avoid ever working with her again. So it was just bad all the way around.